The wilds of Arizona are home to more wild species of rattlesnakes than any other state in the United States. Let's come take a look at some of the species that you're most likely to come across in Arizona. Probably the most iconic and common rattlesnake found throughout Arizona is the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. They can be found in many parts of the state and can be active both day and night. They're commonly found by hikers, again both day and night, and can also be found crossing dirt roads like this one, or even crossing paved roadways like this one. Sometimes people say that they stretch all the way across the roadway, but they usually don't get any lar larger than about five feet long. They can have varying patterns and colors like these. This one here is more of a typical coloration that you might find uh, around the Phoenix area. Another fairly common rattlesnake, which can often look very similar to the Western Diamondback, is the Mojave rattlesnake. The coloration of the snake is usually, but not always, a good way to distinguish it from the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. They often have more yellows, browns, and sometimes a seemingly greenish tone to their coloration. Another way to help distinguish it from the Western Diamondback are its often thinner black tail rings that often appear faded. The bite from a Mojave rattlesnake can be considered exceptionally dangerous because its venom contains both neurotoxins and hemotoxins throughout some parts of its range. Here's one that just wasn't very happy with my presence. The Sidewander is a common rattlesnake named for the way that it moves sideways as it moves from place to place. Sidewinders are commonly found in flat, low elevation portions of western and southwestern Arizona. They have large upturned and pointed scales above their eyes that look like horns and give them a unique appearance. They can commonly be found on lightly traveled roadways as they soak up warmth from the pavement in the early spring. The next common Arizona rattlesnake is the black-tailed rattlesnake. Black-tailed rattlesnakes are common in mountainous parts of Arizona, even being found in the lower elevation desert mountains. Here's one that was found along a steep road cut in a lower desert mountain. Here's a large black-tailed rattlesnake found crossing a paved road in the mid-elevation mountains. I tend to find more in the mid-elevation mountains than anywhere else. This one is trying to bask in the sun early in the spring. Most black-tailed rattlesnakes that I find seem to be fairly calm, but this one was extremely agitated with us. It's worth mentioning that black-tailed rattlesnakes from parts of southern Arizona tend to have the brightest yellows and darkest blacks, like this one. As you can see, the color and patterns of black-tailed rattlesnakes can be quite variable. Here are a few from the lower desert mountains where the colors tend to be more faded and the patterns more broken. This dark black tail was found at a very high elevation, approximately 9 to 10,000 feet. Prairie rattlesnakes are another common Arizona rattlesnake. They're generally in north to northeastern Arizona and are typically found in flat plateau country. This one was found while hiking in the early morning. Here's a sample of what their habitat often looks like.
They can also be found crossing roads at night, like this animal, found after a warm summer monsoon. Tiger rattlesnakes are probably my favorite of all the common Arizona rattlesnakes. Although they're common, they can be more difficult to find. Like most Arizona rattlesnakes, they can be variable in appearance. This one is from Southern Arizona. This dark one is from the Southwest portion of their range. This one, on the other hand, is a much lighter form from the eastern part of their range. And here are a few more from Maricopa County. Arizona black rattlesnakes are another rattlesnake that is usually found in mid to higher elevations. I really like the look of them. This one is an unusual find. It was found so low in elevation at the time that it was one of the lowest elevation records ever recorded. This was an exceptionally beautiful young Arizona black that was found. They're often much brighter when young and then darken as they mature. The last of the common rattlesnakes that I want to share with you is the speckled rattlesnake. Speckled rattlesnakes are another form of rattlesnake that appears in the desert. They come in all different colors, whites, browns, oranges, reds, and even blues. They're probably the most variable of all the rattlesnakes and are highly popular with enthusiasts for their variability and beauty. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our Facebook page in the description below.